What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Blake McLean, and I'm a music producer. So today, BTS released a ton, actually three videos, um, all live performances. They're doing Permission to Dance, um, Dynamite, and then a song called I'll Be Missing You, which I've never heard before, but it says Puff Daddy, Faith Evans, and Sting. I'm going to be doing all three of these, but I'm only going to put this one on YouTube. Um, the other two I'm going to put up on the Patreon. If you want to go check it out, support the channel. I also just finished up the Burn the Stage series on there. I did the movie, and I'm about to start another series, and probably going to break down some lyrics on another album. So um, if you guys do want that extra content, then there's a link down in the description to the Patreon. Also, make sure you like and subscribe, because my band is going to be breaking down some BTS stuff coming up very soon. Um, it's a whole new series that I have that we kind of have just gotten started Videos are much longer, way more in depth. We talk about all the technicalities behind things because they hear things that I don't hear very often. And my guitarist Alec is just insane at music. Like some things he says just go straight over my head. So make sure you subscribe for that and uh, follow me on social media, all that good stuff. All the links are down in the description. That's pretty much all that. So let's uh, let's jump in. So this is BTS. I'll be missing you. BBC Radio One. Oh, it's so late 80s, early 90s. Okay, so it's, it's Every Breath You Take, because that's the same riff from Every Breath You Take, the, the one that Sting plays. Huh. Yeah, it's right here. Goes out to everyone. They can see someone. That they truly love. Check it, yo. In the future, can't wait to see if you open up the gates for me. Reminisce some time. The night they took my chance. Try to black it out, buddy. Place again. I love where his vocal is sitting. That mix sounds amazing. And a lot of it has to do with how smooth he is and how he delivers his vocal um, and his rap lines. I mean, he's just incredibly um, smooth and actually very subtle about the way that he hits things, which is pretty cool. When it's real feelings, it's hard to conceal Can't imagine all the pain I feel If anything to see you hide from face I know we're still living in lives after this There it is every move I make. So it is, it's a playoff of every, every breath you take Every single day, every time I pray I've been missing you That's impressive. They just switched the harmonies over to two other people, which I mean, like to keep it the same with the same high tone and everything is like, that's hard. You know, they probably kind of sat and just went back and forth and was like, okay, let's let's see how close we can make our tones because that's not an easy thing to do. God, see what that does for the second verse. The first one's a little bit more, you know, um, a little bit more cut up and like not as quick. I was going to go into like 16th notes, 8th notes and stuff, but I know a lot of you guys don't understand that. So when you go like double time on this second verse, it really just kind of helps pick the song up and move it along. And then to the halftime. Think of rapping like drums. God, it's so obvious now that I have watched how hard he has worked on his vocals. It, it's just, it's really cool to see how far he has come. I mean, that's, that's, that's incredible to be that smooth. And honestly, guys, in a lot of their past stuff, I have heard tune on their vocals. Like there's been little things you can hear it in like the, um, in the little vibrato, 
you know, on it, you can kind of hear how the, the auto tune is trying to basically pitch correct, but you're going between two notes. So there's a little bit of like a discrepancy almost there, but there's nothing here. I think this is one of the first times I've heard them live like this without any kind of tune. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And you guys will see too, I actually talked about that in the other, um, in the other video. And I wanted to make sure with this one that I was right, that I was hearing the right thing, but they did this all pretty much the same. Notice also how they're pushing some of their levels in and out. So there's literally someone on a mixing board just going, all right, now you a little bit, pull you back, now you a little bit, pull you back to keep things dynamic. And they also each um, have their own individual, like basically line on the mixer. So that's why they also have different mics that are all marked a little bit differently. It's just because each one of them has like their own EQ, you know, their own kind of space in everything that's catered specifically to them in their vocal. You know, these performances, these three, have probably impressed me more than any of the other ones that I've seen. There have been some amazing ones, but the, the lack of tune and everything, it just shows how hard they've worked and how far they have come. Because I know they have worked their butts off on everything. I mean, now I understand that because I have watched all that stuff through. And it's just, it goes to show, the harder you work, and I can't remember if I mentioned this in one of the last videos or not, but the harder you work, the, the farther it takes you. And these guys have been at it for so long and just put in the time and the effort and the hours that it takes to, to get to where they are. And it's, it's showing, you know? They're becoming better and better and better with each and everything that they put out. And honestly, I'm so proud of them. I'm so stoked for them. Um, I think they're incredible and yeah, blown away. Absolutely blown away every single time. So thank you guys so much for hanging around. Really hope you enjoyed the video. 